guys so in the last video remember that we have created down here the two labels responsible for adding points to each player now we need to display the points text on the screen so here on our game loop where we are moving and drawing everything let's call a new procedure let's call it draw y and this procedure will draw all the game user interface let's create the new procedure And here we'll draw the score text. To do this, we'll be using the 21H dosh interruption to display the text on the screen. As you can see here on this page, I will give you the link on the description. So int 21H, and we want to write the string to the standard output. To do this, we will assign to the AH register 09, the value 09. And we need to set a string terminated with a dollar sign. All of this to write the string to the console, to the standard output. To set the position where this text will be displayed, we will use the interruption 180. As you remember from previous videos on this course. So we need to assign to AH the value 02H to set the cursor position and then all those other variables. Let me adjust this so we can see the Wikipedia page. And here we go, set cursor position. I'll start by setting first, we draw the points for the left player, so we draw the points, the text of the left player. player 1 and then we draw the points of the right player player 2 let's start by setting the cursor position so move to AH the value 0 2 to set the cursor position and then move to bh the value zero zero to indicate zero as the page number move to dh the value zero four to indicate four as a row number and then to dl zero zero six h to indicate six as the column number Let's comment this out. Set cursor position. Set page number. Set row. And Finally, set column. Now 
Now let's call. As you remember, the interruption one zero. To execute all of this. Done. Now to display the text. Let's move. Let me show you this. So as we talk about, let's move to AH the value zero nine. To say that we want to write string to standard output. Now we move to the DX register the dollar sign terminated string. Let me maximize this and let's search for the, the string we want to show. Let's create it. Text player on points DB and it's a string that we can start it at zero. And then we terminate it with a dollar sign. So this will be the text with the player one points. All of this. Repeat it to the player two. Change the comment. And now we can finish the procedure and we call the string right here. Now here, instead of using mov, the mov command, we need to use lia, the lia command, that stands for load effective address, to make the DX register point to the address in memory of the string, the address of the first character of the string. In the future, we'll use an array, like notation, to access the different characters of this string. This line of code then gives a DX a pointer to the string text player one points. And now, I guess nothing is left to use this call, so we need to just call the interruption 21H. Print the string and let's test and see what happens. And perfect. The player one already has its score appearing on the screen, but zero, and it's not updating, and it's not fun, <laughs> for now at least. So time for a challenge, uh, try to replicate what we have done here for the player two, and try to not look at what we have done in this video, try to make uh, yourself uh, all this code, and remember that we need to set the cursor position with a 1-0 interruption. And we also need to use the LIA command, the load effective address command, 
to make the dx register point to the string, to the address of the string in memory. Give it a try and I will see you in the next video. Keep going.